Jake Nelson threw for 410 yards and four TDs, and Central beat Simon Frazier 40 to 27. It was a career passing day for the Wildcat quarterback, who completed 24 of 36 passes in the game. Nelson was named Great Northwest Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Week for his efforts. Jesse Zoll called in eight Nelson passes for 143 yards and two scores. Greg Logan caught six balls for 133 yards in his final game in crimson and black. The win over the Klan closes out the season for Central. The Wildcats finished four and two in conference play under first year head coach Ian Shoemaker. Azusa Pacific went six and zero to take the league title. It was a showdown of two top 25 teams last night in Spokane. The number 13 ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs took down 22 ranked Southern Methodist 72-56. Senior Kevin Pangos led the way for the Zags with 17 points and seven assists. He was five of eight from three point land. Kentucky transfer and Portland native Kyle Whittaker finished with 10 points and five rebounds. Domantas Sabonis, son of former Portland Trail Blazer legend Arona Sabonis, had a great outing for the Bulldogs. He finished with 13 points and nine rebounds in just 20 minutes of play. Sabonis, only 18 years old, will have a great chance at winning West Coast Conference Freshman of the Year. This might be the most stacked Zag team in recent memory. If they can stay healthy, look for a deep postseason run come March. The Zags will play next on Wednesday at home versus St. Joseph's. Tip-off is 8 o'clock. The NFL has suspended Adrian Peterson without pay for at least the rest of the season. The league informed the Minnesota Vikings running back he will not be considered for reinstatement before April 15th. The NFL Players Association quickly announced its plan to appeal the punishment. Peterson pleaded no contest November 4th to misdemeanor reckless assault for spanking his four-year-old son with a switch. He had been on paid leave from the team since September the 17th. Well, the Seahawks could be without center Max Unger for a month. Unger went down with a high ankle sprain and a twisted knee in Sunday's loss to Kansas City. The injury to Unger leaves third string center Patrick Lewis as the only healthy center on the Seahawks roster. Backup center Stefan Schilling was placed on injured reserve earlier this month. Coach Pete Carroll declined comment when asked if a player would be added at the position. Linebacker Bobby Wagner, who has missed the team's past five games with a toe injury, could practice on Wednesday. Carroll said if there are no setbacks this week, Wagner could see action on Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals. We'll be right back after this.